Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope all are fine with the shine. Today we are going to have math session. In the previous class, we learned about integers. What are integers? Integers is a collection of whole numbers, which are positive, negative numbers, along with zero. Today we are going to learn properties of integers. What do we get when we add two integers? Let us see. Closure under addition. Kamala has seven flowers and Vimala has five flowers. How many flowers are there in total? There are twelve flowers in total. You see children, seven is an integer and five is also an integer. What about their sum? The sum is 12. It is also an integer. So, we learn that the addition of integers is also an integer. Take another example. 27 plus 13 is equal to 40. Here, 27 is an integer and 13 is also an integer. The sum is 40. That is also an integer. That means when we add two integers, their sum is also an integer. So, integers are closed under addition or closure property is true for addition of integers. In general, for any two integers a and b is equal to a plus b is an integer. Closure under subtraction. What happens when we subtract an integer from another integer? Can we say that the difference is also an integer? Let us see. Ramo caught eight fish in a lake. He gave three fish for his friend Kittu. Then how many fish Ramo has? Eight minus three is equal to five. Ramo has five fish. In this example, we see that the difference of two integers is also an integer. Therefore, we can say that the integers are closed under subtraction. In general, for any two integers, a and b, a minus b is an integer. Commutative property of integers. Let us move on to another property that is commutative property. These are a set of 12 books. If we add 6 books, we get 18 books. That is 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. Or take 6 books first and add 12 books next. How many books do we get? Again we get 18 books. We can write it as 12 plus 6 is equal to 18 or 6 plus 12 is equal to 18. In both the cases we get the same answer. That means that integers can be added in any manner and we get the same sum. Take another example. 18 plus 7 is equal to 25 or 7 plus 18 is also is equal to 25. So you see, even if we change the order of integers and add it, we got the same sum. So we can say addition of integers is commutative. In general, for any two integers a and b, we can say a plus b is equal to b plus a. Now, let us check for subtraction also. Consider the integers 5 and minus 3. Is 5 minus in bracket minus 3 the same as minus 3 in bracket minus 5? No, because 5 minus minus 3 in bracket is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. And 
minus 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 8. Therefore, plus 8 is not equal to minus 8. So, we can say subtraction is not commutative for integers. Associative property of integers. What is associative property? Association is to come under one group. In mathematics also, associative means grouping. Let us see what happens when we add three numbers together. Let these three integers be minus 3, minus 7 and minus 5. Look at minus 3 plus minus 7 plus minus 5. Let us group minus 7 and minus 5. That gives us minus 3 plus in bracket minus 7 plus minus 5. Which gives us minus 3 plus minus 12 which is equal to minus 15. Let us group them differently. Minus 3 plus minus 7 in one group plus minus 5. So minus 3 plus minus 7 gives us minus 10 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 15. The sum of both are same. That shows addition is associative for integers. In general, for integers a, b and c, we can say a plus b plus c in bracket is equal to a plus b in bracket plus c. Now, let us check associative property for subtraction of integers. Let us write the same value, minus 3, minus 7 and minus 5. Minus 3 plus minus 7 make one group, subtract minus 5 which gives us minus 10 plus 5 is equal to minus 5. Let us group them differently and subtract minus 3 minus in bracket minus 7 plus minus 5. So we get minus 3 minus in bracket minus 12. It becomes minus 3 plus 12 which is equal to 9. Therefore the answers are not the same. When the groups are changed and subtracted their result was different. Therefore, associative property is not true for subtraction of integers. Next, we are going to learn the property of identity. What is identity? It is recognition. For example, we recognize our friends, we recognize heroes, we know Amitabh Bachchan, we know his identity. Take this number 7. If I ask you what number is this, you will say it is 7 and not 9. So, every number has its identity. Now tell me, what number should be added to 7 to maintain its identity? It is 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. What should be added to 15 so that it doesn't change its value but remain 15 only? It is 15 plus 0 is equal to 15. So, 0 is the additive identity of any number. Similarly, subtraction. 15 minus 0 is equal to 15. Therefore, 0 is the additive identity for integers. In general, for any integer a, a plus 0 is equal to a is equal to 0 plus a. Children, we have learned four properties of integers. That is, 
closure property of integers, commutative property of integers, associative property of integers, and additive identity. I hope you all understood the properties of integers that we learned today. You can also replay this video to understand clearly. Work out sums from exercise 1.2